hi guys it's your girl Taki and I'm back with another video um this video is going to be the start of the series that I was telling you guys about in my last video um if you haven't seen that video I advise you to go down to the description box click on the link to my last video and watch that video before you watch this one um I actually haven't told you guys what I'm naming the series but first things first if you like what you see and you like what you hear go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button so the name for this series is pretty goofy um I even spelled it out really wonky but I thought it'd be I don't know I thought it was interesting and I thought it was cute um but yes I live in Texas and I'm wearing a jacket but I'm I'm always cold so yeah that that explains the jacket I'm I'm cold right now it's really cold in my house but anyway um I'm naming the series spooky tings yes spooky tings t-i-n-g-s tings <laughs> I don't know I really thought it was goofy but I also thought it sounded really cool so yep that's the name of the series this is spooky tings series one episode one um I say series because I even after October, I do plan on continuing this. Maybe like the next Friday, thir Friday the 13th, or definitely next year, of course, This I will be doing this series again. So yeah, um, this, the title of this episode is going to be The Figure. Well, I'm saying that like you guys can't read. But um, this is um, one of my personal stories that I'm going to be telling, so yeah let's get started so the story begins in my grandmother's house me and my family were still living with my grandmother at the time in Louisiana and um, we lived upstairs it was a two-story house and we lived upstairs and um, I'm trying to think so like when you go up the stairs when you, like when you go up the stairs there's like a, a hallway then you turn right and then there's another hallway so as you're coming down the hallway at the end of the hallway it's like this it's like you're coming straight down the hallway this is me and my sister's room and then my parents room is like on the side door so um I was in my room I don't know what we were doing I know me and my sister were both in the room though and I was probably like playing with my little stuffed animals and stuff but I don't um my sister was watching tv I think and um, I needed to go downstairs for something. It might have been to use the bathroom. It might have been to ask my grandma something. I don't know. But um, my parents had left. I I don't know where. I don't remember where they went. But I know that they were like out of the house. I don't know where my little brother was at the time. I think I was ten. I forgot to state my age. I think I was ten years old when this happened. Um, so it's it's a little it's a little far. It's a little far. But. Um, so I come out the room, I'm trying to do whatever I was trying to do. I come out of the room and my parents' door was open and it swung out. Like you pull it, you pull instead of push. So it was swung out and um, which is which is normal because they always leave my door open. They always, not my door, they always leave their door open because my mother likes to have her door open. So that wasn't, you know, that wasn't, what's the word? That wasn't, that wasn't normal. It wasn't not normal. It was normal to, for them to always have their door open. And the lights were off. Uh, so it was, it's pretty dark in there. Except for the light coming from the window. That was like, when you, when you first open the door, it's like right, right there across. <clears throat> Except for the light coming through that window. Other than that, it was pretty dark in the room. So like I'm you know I'm walking out whatever and like the doors right here well I'm, I'm trying to think of how to show you guys so like the the door is right here the the door is right here and I come out of my room and like I'm walking past it and I probably got about like right here like the doors right here I prob the doors right here and I probably passed about it about this much and I like kind of looked because I noticed the door was open and I kind of just like glanced. But I had to take a look again because I saw something. So I take a look again. And I back up a little bit to where like now I'm standing like directly in front of it. And um, it was like silent besides like my grandma being in the kitchen. Like I can hear like the dishes and stuff. It was pretty silent. And I like I look into 
the doorway and I can see like the outline of like a figure and it looked like a a man but like a like a big heavy man like not like buff in the way sorry about that but um I forgot where it was um oh so I saw an outline of a figure and it was like a big buff dude not buff I'm saying buff but it was like a like a heavier set guy um and I I honestly thought it was my dad you know I'm thinking maybe like he was coming out of the room maybe they came back or something I don't know and they were in the room he was grabbing something I don't know what I thought but um so I I go dad like dad calling his name and no one said anything and so I kind of just like I was like that and I was like I my heart started to pound I started to get scared because I'm like who's standing right there and I say that it's like some somebody standing there because literally whatever whatever it was the figure was so dark it was darker than the darkness of the room already and it was like blocking the light it was like art like blocking the light coming from the window so I couldn't see through it so it wasn't like I was just like seeing things like it was like it's something solid like something was standing there and and you know I was trying to like figure it out I'm like maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me but like I'm leaning back and I'm like I was honestly like so scared like for a second like I couldn't move like after I called out my dad's name and didn't get a response I was like oh my god like is somebody there and oh god it was just it was so scary and so finally once I was able to like move I walked like I quickly went over and walked downstairs and I saw my grandmother in the kitchen I saw, well my grandma in the kitchen and so I'm like you know hey grandma like um did my parents come back home like you know I'm asking her maybe my parents had come home had came home early or, or something or was somebody over and there she was like oh no you know I haven't seen them and no nope, nobody's over it's just us you know and that freaked me out like I couldn't I couldn't process in my head like what I had seen but in the end I just you know brushed it off and I was like I'm just seeing stuff that was a figment of my imagination um but I don't know like as I've thought about it more and more especially like as time passed I was like I don't know it's just the fact that it was darker like you can I can see the outline of something it was it's dark in the room but you like you can I feel like even in the dark you can tell when somebody when there's like a presence or you can tell when somebody's like standing there because like I feel like the light bounces off differently depending on if someone's standing there or not but yeah um I don't know but anyway so like when I finally went back upstairs to go back to my room I you know I was scared to but I like you know I glanced again and I looked and I didn't see anything there because I you know I'm thinking maybe something was there and it was just like already there like blocking the light I don't know but when I went back it was gone the light was coming through the window like you know like it, how how it basically is normally excuse me <laughs> but that, it's like the crazy part is that the fact that it wasn't there when I went back and I had stared at that for a, you know for a, for a good while when I was observing and trying to figure out like what it was before I realized that it wasn't my dad or it wasn't I don't know it wasn't human I don't I don't know maybe not human a spirit I don't know but um after I I'm just trying to like make sure I put all the words right so you guys can understand because I know I'm really bad at talking but I don't know like still to this day I can't figure it out but I do have an idea so like as time went I don't remember when did I talk about this I don't know I was talking to my um to my grandmother about it um at some time this may have been months maybe like a few years like after the incident I was talking to her about it because we were talking about you know things that experiences that I've had and was having and I know that she's a very spiritual person and so I used to talk I would I had talked to her about it and she was telling me that it may have been a possibility that I had seen 
my great grandfather my great grandfather which I have actually never met um, on my mom's side well my grandmother's side I haven't I didn't met him he passed way before I was born he passed like when my mom was a child but I never got to meet him but I did see, I have seen pictures of him and also from the description that I was given my grandmother she said it could have possibly been him um, he's he was a big guy <laughs> um, he was a big guy uh, from Jamaica you know and I just felt like it made sense because you know he was a very loving loving from what I was told he was a very loving guy you know he was he was a fun fun guy um, and I'm pretty sure you know after he passed he would be watching o watching over us you know and um, also an interesting fact the house that my grandmother lives in and still lives in um, he built that house so I feel like you know having a connection to that as well I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if his spirit, you know, lingered there or if he comes to visit every now and again. But it's just the fact that it's a possibility. Since I couldn't see a face or anything, I can't really say that it was him. But I do think it's a big possibility, especially with the shape that I see. And from looking at the pictures, I'm like, the looks, like the figure or the shape that I saw. Um, <clears throat> um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, hopefully... I mean, that would be nice if that was cool, you know. But um, that's it for this episode. Um, if you guys have any interesting stories or have you guys ever encountered um, any spiritual activity or encountered maybe a family member that had passed away, um, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear, hear you guys hearing that stories and just, you know, from different people and things like that. Um, <clears throat> as I always say, if you guys do have any stories, um, you guys can contact me. You can either link the story. Oh my gosh, you guys can either link the stories down in the, in the comments, or I have my social medias also listed down in the um, description box, and you guys can contact me that way. But anyway, um, happy October, you guys! Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.